everybody Ann here sitting out on my porch this morning to have my coffee because it's mild <laughs> I think it's around 45 50 degrees and the chickens are going crazy uh, but the weather's gonna change it's gonna start raining and the temperatures are gonna drop so you never know what it's gonna be out here in West Tennessee but anyhow I wanted to show you those bont lights those spotlights oh my goodness they lasted till this morning I know it's dark out here, but it is 6 a.m. the next day, and these lights are still shining as bright as they were. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is amazing. When all of my other solar lights have turned off, these are still going all night long and into the morning. So yeah, big thumbs up for these vaunt little solar light things. I love them. I'm kind of just hoping that maybe the rain won't come, <laughs> but if it does, I need to crack open that ladder and I need to get going on the insulation on my roof. So I don't know. We'll just see what happens. Guess what, guys? I have figured out the ladder. I've got it together. Well, I mean, it's already together, but I figured out how to do stuff with it. So here, take a look. Dun, dun, dun. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have to get it to go any higher than that, but it does go higher than that. So this is so much easier. I've tried a little giant ladder, and I don't know, something about them. Uh, they are just hard to work with. But these, all you got to do is on each side, they've got these. You just need to pull them out. I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want to collapse it. Um, pull them out, turn them down, pull them out, turn them down. And they've got more on the other side here. Pull them out, turn them down. The ladder goes up and down. You can use it as a little step ladder, and it goes up uh, at least two, two more of these little hole thingies. Um, it goes up pretty high. You can also take these things completely out and make something totally different. You can make this go up only so high, um, and this one go up higher so that the angle like one leg is down here, the other is out here, so you can get it up against a wall. So, I am going to be able to use this ladder. It's great. It's very, very sturdy. I'm not going to get on it right now because I've got my mud boots on. But um, So, I'm going to take this inside and see if I can get some insulation done. Ta-da! Now, all i got to do is you can pull these little things out. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Oh, I don't think so. Oh. There we go. You just pull them all the way out, and then you can do that with it. And then it locks in place, so you can store it. I love this. Oh my gosh. I gotta tell you, so far today, I have been blessed with mostly sun. The sun is coming in and out of the clouds right now. It was supposed to be raining from like 7 a.m. I had considered not even letting the chickens out. But I'm glad I did because it hasn't rained yet and it's mild and so I've just been out playing with my puppies instead of doing actual work. <laughs> but it's it's been a wonderful day. It's supposed to start raining between 12 and 1 p.m. So I'm thinking mm, I will go ahead and... Sorry, I had a phone call. And during that entire last clip, I had something on the front of my nose. It could have been coffee. It could have been um, soot. It could have been mud who knows but anyhow so yeah i've just been out playing with my puppies and um, watching my chickens and i kind of like that so i'm just waiting i'm waiting for a sign to actually start on the insulation y'all know how much i love to do insulation and that sign is going to be if it starts raining i don't know if you can see in there um, i don't want to get any closer mama is acting like she wants to lay an egg there's a nesting box right there and then over on the other side I put two eggs that uh, the other hens laid this morning in each of the nesting box. I had a fag egg in there and uh, I don't know which one but they kicked it out. But she's been going into that nesting box right there. Oh, See look at <laughs> She's been tossing stuff on her back like she's trying to make a nest. Oh, she's still so tore up. Oh there's a siren. I can't believe the dogs are not going crazy. Anyhow, she's been like digging little nests and just nestling down in them. So I don't know, maybe maybe we'll get an egg today. It's raining, so I'm inside. It was pouring down torrentially earlier, and I forgot how dark it is in here. <laughs> when it rains, even with the lights on. 
So, yeah, that's an excuse, right? But look, at least I got the, the stuff inside. Yep, I got the ladder inside. I got the insulation inside. Oh, it's not calling my name yet, guys. It's just not calling my name. And look it, I got my chainsaw right next to me. I keep it here all the time just because, I don't know, I just love it. I just love looking at it. I really do. The dehydrated chicken that I cooked up last night, it is delicious. I love it. It. I was afraid that it would be kind of like a weird, gummy, chunky, or whatever, um, but it it rehydrated really well, and it seemed just like normal chicken to me. So I need to make good on my promise to start showing you some of these dehydrated foods that I have. Um, well, freeze-dried, really. Most of the stuff I have is freeze-dried, and I, I really love that. I wish there was a way I could freeze-dry stuff myself because the food has a, a better consistency once you rehydrate it. Anyhow, so that was delicious. Oh, and about those Vaunt solar lights, um, they are listed in my Amazon store um, under the RV off-grid living list. Um, and the link to my store is down below in the description. So just click that on and click the right list in there. The first thing on there, if you buy something off that list, I get a little bit of money for it. So that really is awesome. Um, I love them. I, I, I can't believe they stayed on all night and all morning until the sun came up, so they're pretty cool. What's up, Junior? Where's your boys? Oh, yeah, somebody's going to get up in my lap. <laughs> you want my ginger snaps, don't you? Oh, I think you do. Oh, this tiny house is a mess. Puppies, puppies everywhere. I don't know. So what am I going to do? Hmm. I'm just going to eat these ginger snaps because they're delicious and uh, listen to the rain and wait on Tractor Supply Company to deliver me a 50 pound pack of dog food because I'm a, like a preferred super duper neighbor or whatever and I'm entitled to one free delivery, same day delivery um, per quarter. Well, come on Junior, no you cannot have this. Uh, so they're supposed to deliver it sometime today. I put the wagon down at the end of the street. Hopefully they'll figure it out. Uh, because my doggies are out of food. <laughs> I've been cooking them dinner for the last couple of days. Anyhow, um, y'all, yeah, that's it. I may do the insulation. I may not. Uh, I need to get some more light going on in here, though. Uh, yeah, I need to get that done. I really do, but I hate insulation. Even though I have a super duper awesome new ladder, I just need to get her done. Anyhow, for today though, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. You can now join me on Rumble, where I talk about current events, politics, and other thoughts on weighty subjects. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.